Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com, and in this video here, I'm going to show you how to get the Ring of Finaster in Elder Scrolls III Marwyn. So this is uh, one of the rare artifact Easter egg rings in the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this e ring was made by somebody, or made for somebody that died during the production of the game. And uh, I'll talk about that more in route, but right now, as you can see, we're standing in the town of Balmora. And uh, first thing we want to do in Balmora is to go to Sadrith Mora. Which easiest way to get there is the guild guide, the mage guild guide in Balmora, right here. So we're going to talk to her, teleport to Sadrith Mora, and then from Sadrith Mora, we're going to ride the boat to Dagon Fell, which is the closest town to the dungeon we need. But anyway, as I was saying, this is, uh, you can get more information about the Easter egg and uh, all the information about it on uh, UESP, Unofficial Elder Scrolls Project, their Wikipedia. It also contains a ton of other useful, great information for Morrowind and other Elder Scrolls games. Highly recommend that website. So over here is the boat that will take us to Dagon Fell. There's a few other ways to get there. This is my preferred way of uh, getting there, though. And from Dagon Fell, we need to go a teeny bit south to uh, Senim Ancestral Tomb. We actually don't need to use any like uh, jump fast travels in order to get there. We can just run on down there. So here's the entrance to the Santa Ancestral Tomb. And inside of here, let me check my website because I forget the exact NPC name that we have to kill. Oh, never mind. It's in a urn, or it's on a corpse. There's a bunch of goodies to get in this uh, dungeon. We're just going to clear the enemies out real fast so they don't bother us. These two doors lead you to the room with the ring in it. Both of them are locked with a lock level of 50. So that is the uh, only requirement for getting this ring is to be able to open a lock level of 50. And we'll be able to get the ring in this final room here. Right up here on this uh, corpse with a skeletal corpse with all of the armor decorating it. Right here. Pop J. And there's the ring of Finaster. And the Pop J is the, uh, the Easter egg that the ring was created for. Or uh, that the ring was placed on. And, that's, and there's also a bone from Pop J too. Another Easter egg. But that's... Uh, that's really all there is to it. That's exactly how to get the Ring of Finaster in Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. If I left anything out, forgot anything, or you would like to go into more detail explaining the Easter egg, please leave a comment below and let me and everybody else know. Um, as always, if this video did help you out, please leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Elder Scrolls III Morrowind videos. Peace.